Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Digium Live. Today, we are really excited to be joined by Justin Hart. Justin is the director of IT at Blue Dog RV and a uh, loyal and happy Switchbox customer. So we're really excited to talk to Justin. So welcome, Justin. Well, thanks for having me. Good. So, Justin, can you tell me a little bit about what uh, Blue Dog RV and what you do there? Um, yeah. So I'm the director of IT. Uh, pretty much anything that plugs into the wall or runs on batteries is my problem. Um, <laughs> we, uh, as a company, we sell and service RVs um, throughout the Northwest. Okay. Well, good. So um, you've had Switchbox for a little while. So can you go back in time a little bit and tell us what kind of prompted you to buy a new phone system? What communication problems were you trying to solve at the time? Um, yeah. So I think it was about 2012 when I got the Switchbox. Um, we were using, um, oh, what was the name of that? Some, some VoIP. It was a Microsoft thing. Um, but that doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, the the calls weren't that great. We'd have drop calls, and it was making business a real uh, real painful to do business, actually. Um, so we started looking at new phone systems, um, and Switchbox is one of the options that, that came up. Okay. Were there any um, specific features that you knew some of your employees had been asking for that you just couldn't do? Um. Yeah, the call cascading was one. Um, more advanced uh, ring groups that kind of um, send a voicemail. It was it was our old system was very limited. It was basically right. just IP phones and SIP service was about all it did. Okay, and when you say call cascading, you're talking about forwarding to cell phones and when yeah. it comes in, you can route which device it goes to. Yeah. So what did the evaluation process look like? Was it just you looking, doing demos of different products? How did you go about looking for a new system? Um, yeah, I came from a consulting shop and we had done several other asterisk based um, uh, projects in the past, free PBX, um, Trixbox, um, things like that. So I looked at you guys, I looked at Finality, um, Cisco just for just because um, Shortel, right? You know the big ones. Yeah. So what was it that kind of set Switchbox apart during your during that process? Um, a lot of it was cost. Um, I love I love the D forty phones uh, or the D series phones. I still do. They're amazing phones. Um, they integrate really well. Um, but mostly it was cost, and I like the licensing um, better yeah. um, versus other asterisk-based um, PBXs. Okay. What is it? You said you like the phones. What is it that you like about the phones? What are? Uh, they're easy. You plug them in, and they just work. Okay. Yeah, I know that's important for especially as somebody in your role for sure. Yeah. It's, <laughs> It's not having to manage the firmware is managed by the switch box. You don't have to upload custom or host your own FTP server or anything. It's all just in all in one done plug in and go. They're great. Right. Yeah. So how about cost savings? Did you see any cost savings from your previous system or compared to some others that you were looking at? Um, I'm, there wasn't, I mean, there's not really cost savings compared to the old system. We made more money because we were actually able to take phone calls. All right, that's good. <laughs> um, the cost savings, the uh, D-series phones were uh, pretty good cost savings on those because they, uh, they're they more economical than some of the other options out there. Right. Um, and they have a lot, a lot of the feature sets that, that some of the more expensive phones have. Um, so there was definitely a cost savings there. The licensing wasn't wasn't outrageous. It was, you know, I mean, we saved probably sixty percent over a comparable Shortel or Cisco system. Right. Okay. So what about the deployment itself? Were there any deployment challenges that you needed to overcome going from the older system to the new one? Um. 
You know, it was pretty simple back then when we uh, we were only two locations um, when we originally deployed Switchbox, so it wasn't too bad. We had already had uh, had our VoIP network set up and all the QoS and all the switches, all that stuff was already there. Right. Um, so it was kind of just pull out the old stuff, put in the new stuff. Um, I don't remember any any real difficulties setting it up it was all it's all pretty simple it's point and click it's fairly intuitive right so you said you have multiple locations how many system how many locations are you running off of your switch box today um we're working on opening our 10th location i think we started with about 30 phones and we're up over 200 now wow so do you um how was the connectivity between them? Do, do people four digit dial each other? Do you have instant messaging or how do people communicate across location or do they need to? Um, we have, we, I run the, the Switchbox server here at the central office and then all the other locations send their calls to the VPN. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So okay. You, we can direct dial um, between locations and, and all that and it works, it works great. Yeah, so it's all based off of one switch box then, right? All yeah. Of them. yeah. Okay. Um, so you didn't need any network upgrades when you had. You had all that in place. So um, if you had to rate or talk about your experience with Switchbox so far, how it's worked, how what would you say? I love it. I love these the box, and I'm super excited. You guys just released your VMware stuff, so probably going to be trans transitioning over to that. Yeah, so on VMware, just kind of a side question, what are some of the advantages that you would see from from you moving to a VMware environment with your phone system? Um, high availability. Uh, right now we've got a few, or higher availability, I should say. Uh, we've got a few actual dedicated VMware servers um, versus my one physical Switchbox server. So, you know, if I were to have hardware failure or whatever, I can just move that between or, you know, that I can send it up to whatever uh, VMware Horizon or, or their air cloud thing backup. It's It just makes it, you know, better for business to have it more available. Right, right. Rather than having to maintain a cold spare or whatever. Sure. Okay, well, great. Well, Justin, I definitely appreciate your time um, and feedback today. And um, thank you very much for joining us. Hey, thanks again, Brian, for having me. Okay, great. And uh, thank you, thanks, everybody, for joining us for this episode of Did You Live? And we will see you next time.